This is a cubic cost function for a one product company where the cost at a certain quantity equals F plus A cubed plus B cubed squared plus C cubed cubed, where F, A, B, C are all constants. F itself is a unique number because it is a fixed cost. So it's fixed cost plus these, which are constants in front of the variables, Q, Q squared, and Q to the third power. The marginal cost, and we know now, I hope, that marginal cost is the first derivative. So the marginal cost of this function is the first derivative of this cost function. So the F disappears. It goes AQ to 1 minus 1, and then B 2BQ to the 2 minus 1, and the 3CQ to the 3 minus 2. And that simplifies to this. So the marginal cost of Q equals A plus 2BQ plus 3CQ squared. All right. So that is how we would look at a cubic uh, cost function. So let's look at a multiple product scenario where we have C, uh, Q1 and Q2, quantity of 1 and quantity of 2. Here we can quantify what economies of scope looks like. So here we have the cost of making Q1 by itself, the cost of making Q2 by itself, because there's zero otherwise. And if the sum of those is greater than the cost of making them together, then we know that there's an opportunity for economies of scope because doing them together has a lower cost than doing them separately. Next, cost complementarity is where the marginal cost of making Q1 and Q2, when we change the Q2, is less than zero. In other words, when the, the marginal cost of product one will go down if the quantity produced of two goes up. So we're seeing that relationship where cost of one is driven down by increases in quantity of two. Next, we'll look at a multi-product cost function where we have two products, Q1, Q2, and we have the cost equation. Here we have F, again, fixed cost, plus A, Q1, Q2, uh, plus Q1 squared, plus Q2 squared. So now we have a cost function where we can calculate the marginal cost. So now if we want to determine the marginal cost for product one, we would differentiate the quantity with respect to Q1. So the F disappears. This Q1, Q2 factor, the Q1 disappears because Q1 is to the first power and then it goes away. So it's AQ2 plus 2Q1 instead of squared, it drops to Q1 to the first power. And this term disappears as well because that's also a constant. So here, if we look at this two product cost function and we want to know the marginal cost with respect to product one, it's AQ2 plus 2Q1. And that means that this term A is quite important. If this term A is less than zero, in other words, it's negative, that makes this term pretty powerful because as Q2 increases, we're going to lower the cost of making product one. So this is an example of complementary cost because Q2 has a has a favorable impact on the cost of making product one. And if A is greater than zero, then there's no cost complementarity. So it doesn't matter what it is. If it's positive, then Q2 going up increases Q1. That doesn't really show any complementary characteristics between product one and product two. The other aspect is we could also look at economies of scope. And that condition is where F minus a q1 q2 is greater than zero so if this term is true then there is economies of scope between products one and product two